Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolph Bay here for a Call of Duty video. This time it's about a different topic. You see, I'm gonna start like this. When I was young and the Call of Duty was releasing, I was going in front of the shop at night and there was a long, like there was a lot of people waiting in line to buy the copy. And I remember like Black Ops 1, there was so much people, like at least 60 people in front of the shop. We were there at night. I think it was midnight altogether waiting uh, in line or like 9 p.m. I'm not even sure the exact that date, but we were there waiting, all right? <laughs> and now what happened is some streamer did use some exploit to be able to play before the people was playing. So... You see, I was able to play Call of Duty like at midnight, a certain date, but it was playing Call of Duty almost 48 hours before me. Like, it just made no sense. It, there's just no way someone can do this and not get penalized. And then those people, a lot of them are into big, big team. And they, they are not getting kicked off the team. Uh, the big team are, are sharing the information, what's the best VPN. They're all using the, the, the same tick trips. Uh, uh, they're all using the same trick and tips. And they just like pass it to each other. And so the big streamer can like just stay big streamer. And they don't accept new people in their, in, in their group. Because the new people are going to expose what they are doing wrong. And you can see like into my video when I expose people. Sometimes I got a lot of dislike and not a lot of comments. So those people you're going to see it's mostly just the big YouTuber. That's going to come and mass dislike video that are like exposing the truth. So today, this is a React content video of the Call of Shame uh, channel. You see, at the start, I was thinking that the Call of Shame channel was like... I was thinking, like, you see, he was, like, showing hacker and stuff. And real hacker, I don't really care. Like, if it's a big streamer that is hacking, I care. If, it, if he's into a tournament and stuff, I care. But... There's so many like cheater video, like if it's just a regular cheater, I'm not like re listening and like he's always speaking about Nazio and stuff that I don't really want to hear. But he's still showing on my timeline, you know, because I'm still want to see which new streamer do weird thing. And, you know, more I look Call of Fame, more <laughs> I realize that he said the truth and he's not even like trolling like at the start i was thinking it was a troll farming content and farming view you see and he did it before like at the start i'm pretty sure this is what he was doing but you can see that right now this dude or this person feel real resentment for the community and what i think all right who is scout of shame i'm pretty sure it's a girl because the way he speak, it's like if he was a man who don't like women or like the way he treat women is bad. It's not like a man do. The way he treat women is the way that feminists think that men treat women. You see what I mean? So the call of shame probably don't belong to a man. It belongs to a woman. And there's two women that I think it could, it could be. First, it's Nadia. What is the best way to promote yourself? Having someone who's exposing you constantly for cheating. And then you're going to see the picture that I'm going to post there. It's 5x5. Five five. Why is 5x5 five five in every of the intro? Like, it just don't make sense to me. Like, yes, I, I, I'm following 5x5 five five, like since a, a long time. And I like his gameplay. I, I did type on his Twitch and I follow her. But... It just made no sense that 5x5 five five that never really got exposed is there in every video, like at the start of the intro. And this is why I think that 5x5 five five could be the owner of Call of Shame or Nadzio. It's one of those two person and I don't, I don't think it's anyone else. Like it would just not make sense. So tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me who you think Call of Shame is and let's react to this video right now. All right, so this is the video, uh, face swag humiliated by Call of Duty. Face swag is probably just mostly clickbait content, but he's still spitting facts in that. 
And it's funny, Absolute Cloud Babe, you're always saying that. Um, the comments are always good. Like, I really like it. Like, it's controversy, and I like controversy. And at the start, I was not really liking this channel, but now <laughs> I start to like, you know, I'm listening to it and I like it because I, you see, Joe Wu, why is he calling himself Movement King? I never seen Joe Wu with good movement. Like, bro. What is he even doing into the world series of Warzone, bro? So since he's trying to bash Joe, I'm kind of listening a bit more to him. So let's get straight into it. Listen, I have to say that I am a big fan of Ripperzia, right? I've been sick during a while. I was not able to work anymore. I was depressed. My life was hard. And you know what? Watching Ripperzia stream was making it better. Him dancing between game and stuff like that. Yes, he have a good gameplay, but why I watch Ripperzia is mostly for the enter entertainment part. Bro, he's dancing and doing a handstand like i was there not able to sleep because of the pain at 3 a.m you know and this dude is there doing a handstand and shaking his ass at the same time as he's doing the handstand while the music is up and there's like smoke coming from like the, the smoke and the lightning just flashing bro this those videos are crazy <laughs> That's kind of funny. You see, he showed... Wait a sec. You see, this is this girl. Like, this girl, uh, there's no reason why she's there, and she's always there. So I'm pretty sure this girl, 5x5, five five, is probably the owner of the channel, or Nadzio, right? And then, uh, the one we saw just before, there's BAM. <laughs> Right there, that dude bams, all right? Uh, this dude is one of the most fake YouTuber ever, all right? Uh, this dude, I did some recruitment challenge like for OB, and I my my video was better than him. You can go see F1X recruitment challenge OB response, and you're gonna go look bams response and Dolbeck response for the F1X challenge, and you're gonna see I did better than bams, and guess what? They did not take me in, they did not even reply to my video, but Bam was there with, uh, he, he was into the team. You know why? Because he got some viewers that are almost fake. You're going to see usually, usually the streamer are going up and down uh, into their view. Uh, are you going to see Amurant? Sometimes she have 40k viewer and sometimes she's going to have like 3k viewer and they just go up and down. But... If you look at BAMs, he's always have 200 viewers. So it just means that it's view butting and it's probably have like 50 to 70 real viewer. And you see this trick that he's using is probably a trick that all those streamers into like sore up, uh, not optic, but like sore obey and like the people who want to get into face are just like farming view by using like butting and fake account. Uh, like like for like on each other like the first team a big team like this is gonna do is like for like each other it boosts the algorithm and like you, you think that someone's gonna do two boxing he's gonna use a vpn but he's not gonna like manipulate the algorithm nah bro those dudes are fake on youtube you think that fake people are like they, they reach the 1 million subscriber without doing anything fake they are probably the most fake ever. Like, just look at uh, the history of, of phase agony. Like, it, it just proves how fake that shit is. And if you're ready to fake one clip, that means you're ready to fake your whole YouTube channel to succeed. I don't know who that is. The TV Warzone streamer Breadman who I've exposed countless times for cheating, has now decided to not play Black Ops 6. Call of Duty flew this rat out to play the game early, sending him all sorts of gifts through the mail, but when it came- Listen, I've seen tons, 
I've seen. Whoa, I, I'm not good into um, <laughs> reacting content. I've seen tons of streamer, and I'm looking good Call of Duty gameplay a lot, and I never seen a bread man or a Joe gameplay that I liked. Just saying. He is leveling his weapons, camos, and all attachments while Breadman continues to play. A closet cheater right now is playing on Breadman's account. He is leveling his weapons, camos, and all attachments while Breadman continues to play Warzone. Ricochet have already stated account sharing is prohibited. Yet Raven Software do nothing, they stand back and allow streamers like Breadman to cheat in the open. This rat is an absolute fraud. When the private cheat was detected, Breadman flew to Spain for two weeks. After everything was sorted out, he came back, only to report he still can't log in because there was a smell of gas and he was afraid of death. Um, we had a gas leak, and apparently if you smell gas you should evacuate your house immediately. But nobody bought that excuse. Now he is refusing to log in to Black Ops 6. Absolute rat behavior. If you have a gas leak, you're not supposed to be there streaming. You're supposed to be out of your house and wait in the street till to fix the gas leak. Behavior. Sharing your account with someone else is cheating. There is no debate. Phase swag and the phase rejects wanted to be the first team in the world to win the prestige race. He took to Twitter to complain to Call of Duty exposing the winning team for using a vpn as this was okay so what happened is the people you cannot log to call of duty so if you want to be able to log to call of duty you're gonna need to be into a region that is like uh 12 hour before you so like you're gonna be able to play 12 to 24 hour before the people and if you do it into a region like uh, venezuela you're gonna get a really, really easy bot lobby, and then those people are gonna hit a big clip uh, into those lobby, and they're gonna use it into montage. So just the fact that they uh, they use the VPN at the start of the the game that proves that they already own a VPN because you need to pay. So all those pe those people are VPN user, two boxer user, and stuff like this. And then what's going to happen is when you're going to log into the game, they're already going to be max level and fighting you. And then they're going to maybe even clip you. Imagine the dude have all the best weapon in game. The, the sniper is quick scoping while your sniper is not even quick scoping. Like your sniper is doing this while you're just coming. Bro, he's going to get a clip. And then what? You're going to look montage, sore face, OB, wow, big montage. You're good. Your your face scope, you did such a good gameplay, but you're using a VPN, bro, and nobody care, and nobody care about montage anymore because you guys destroyed the whole montage community. Nobody even believe in clip anymore because of you guys. Is cheating. Swag was indeed correct. By using a VPN, it allows you to kill poor skilled players, allowing faster unlocks of weapon camos attachments, perks, XP and more. But, haven't the streamers all tried to justify this, for the past year? They have been doing the exact same thing, and it's called 2-boxing. This is where streamers, use a dummy account, to launch them into low-skilled lobbies, in order to get high kills, faster XP, unlock challenges, camos and attachments. Meanwhile, on Twitter, someone called out Swag, and the rest of the streamers for exploiting. This is when the streamers, connected to a different country, in order to play the game early, to get ahead of the competition. By connecting to New Zealand, it gave them a 17-hour head start, over everyone else, who was waiting patiently. 17 hour! In 17 hour, I almost have the time to do a wall montage. In 17 hour, I'm probably able to get a six man on screen. In 17 hour, I'm probably able to go like three to five weapon. Like, if your goal, if your goal is like me to create Black Ops 6 content, half of the content that I want to create is already stolen by those people. Those content creators are not content creators, they are stealers, they are stealing stuff to the smaller content creator to show it to you first and doing it by doing wrong stuff like using VPN, two boxing or whatever, the word records are doing are fake, like Bro, it's so bad. Their, their kid record, whatever, it's on VPN. Bro, face swag. I was thinking you were not VPNing, dude. Shit. 
the world's smallest Warzone streamer, around the same size as a jelly bean, even tried to complain about a VPN, as she also boosted in the New Zealand server to get a 17-hour advantage. You see, he's always speaking about Kaylee and he's always bringing some woman in. So this is why I think he's a woman. Like, just saying that she's small and stuff like this, it's not what a man would say. Like, a man likes small woman. Like, the fact that a woman is smaller is, like, more attractive to a man. So this is why I think it's a woman that speaks with a... AI generated voice of a man like it just make no sense to be to speak about Kaylee like that and yes I'm down to expose Kaylee if she, like she is VPNing all right but like bro like uh, the way she speak any man if a man was really speaking like that it would get banned man like I would be speaking like this on my channel people would be banning me or something I to complain about a VPN as she also boosted in the New Zealand server to get a 17 hour advantage this cheating female, who was exposed for being inside a cheat discord, who was banned by Activision for two years, has no grounds for any voice here, so zip it. I asked my AI assistant about the region manipulation, and if changing regions to access the game early was a violation. Basically yes. Changing your region to access content early violates Activision's terms of service, as it bypasses set regional release times. I then asked. I can see this is against the Activision Terms of Service, but what about Microsoft's Game Pass, as this is what the streamers were doing? Microsoft's TOS includes clauses around fair and intended use of the service, and accessing content outside of your assigned region can be seen as a breach of these terms. This clown was even promoting it. So you see, those people, they do stuff that can get banned. Like, they are supposed to be banned, but they are not banned. And when they are getting banned, there's some people, you can see there's some video about Ripple Z. He, he do a phone call and he get people unbanned. When Shud Z got banned, someone do a phone call and he get unbanned. But if I get banned... Who do I call to get unbanned? And this is unfair. Being able to do a phone call to get unbanned is one of the most unfair thing ever. And the dude who is unbanning you is maybe a friend. And he, like you see that that people working for Call of Duty is keeping maybe some cheater or some people who use VPN or like dual boxer or like uh, people who, who use modded DS4 script, uh, foot pedal, like all this. They are into uh, what what we call um, they are into whitelisted lobby. When someone get banned and get unbanned, he probably get put into a whitelisted lobby. So those dude after this, they are ordered to to ban, and they are still doing weird weird stuff. And yeah, man, it just sucks. Can you imagine how annoyed all those legit gamers were that paid seventy dollars, excited for midnight release? loading into a game, to find people already running around with superior weapons and attachments. Maybe check with your own publisher, before making stupid con- Yeah, and what about the content creator like me, that want to create content and cannot because you were there fucking 17 hours before me, man? Comments like this. Absolute clown behavior. So, in a nut- Bro, I did my first uh, round of zombie, uh, like- when the game came out and I go look there was already a 900 round record bro like I mean my first my first game I did I, I did round 37 on a hard mode and then I go look if I beat the record there's a dude round 900 bro the dude played the 17 hour non-stop bro like come on nutshell face swag and the unemployed warzone streamers are complaining to call of duty that connecting to a VPN to play the game in a different country is cheating. But at the same time they all connected to New Zealand during the day one release, doing exactly the same thing. This is why I call them, low IQ warzone streamers. Stay tuned for tomorrow's news. You see, this channel is weird but good at the same time. I can just support it because it's saying the right stuff. But at the same time, you see, I'm staying aware of what it is. This is probably a woman with a man voice that is doing AI ger generated thing. And most of his content is like mostly AI generated, probably type like a paragraph that is long like this and the AI just say the rest and like, 
But the videos are good and I'm gonna keep listening to them and just commenting and supporting because well I'm I'm better to support you fight swag or like Breadman or someone who's exposing. You see, one of the main goals for smaller content creator, if you want to make a space for yourself, you do you need to do a cleanup. You clean up some space on the top, you just clean up all the wrong people, you just expose them and then poop, it makes some space. And then you can reach maybe the top, but for that, we need to make them fall. And every VPN user, two boxing user need to fall. So this is why I'm supporting Call of Shame channel. Are you supporting it or not? Telling me into the comment section. You can tell me if I'm just annoying or whatever. I don't care. I'm a grown man. I'm there for the controversy right now because I like it. I wish everyone a good day. Thanks for watching this channel. Peace out.